What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here! Hey, bought myself a watch online. I saw it, I was like, hey, that looks like it's worth checking out. Yeah, it says a sport watch, waterproof cold light collection. Um, I can tell you that where I got it from, it was listed uh, as available from a company called Hero Neo. And it was listed as the new waterproof fashion men's LCD digital stopwatch date rubber sport wristwatch. So, you know, they try to throw in all the keywords. And it's cheap. And it comes in this little bag. It has a little instruction list. And it comes on this little cardboard card here. So I don't know if that helps you find it. But look, if you buy this watch, you can go uh, windsurfing. I don't see that guy actually wearing the watch, but whatever. So anyway, actually better packaging than some of these really cheap watches I get. I, again, I got this for under six bucks. It wasn't, uh, it didn't charge me anything extra for shipping, but it took forever to get here. So I'm sure it came from overseas, keep that in mind. What I want to say, tell you is that when I looked at the picture, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, kind of a yellow highlight, it looks sporty. It kind of looks like those old Walkman sports to me in the picture, kind of a, kind of a, a deep yellow. When I get it here, it's a little bit of this cheesy, kind of bright yellow, like toy plastic yellow. So I'm actually not quite as impressed as I was with the picture. That being said, let's do a little walk through this watch. It has what feels to me is a kind of a hard plastic strap. It may be, it's clearly like rubber, but it's not like a soft, comfortable rubber. It's, it's kind of hard, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like the plastic on tripod, that kind of harder it's flexible obviously but it's not it's not kind of those soft silicone straps that you might be used to um, loop here metal presumably stainless buckle on the end and uh, there's a little bit of ooh, did something sorry a um, little kind of a little sporty industrial texture there big holes let's go ahead and throw it on uh, the other thing is these lugs and the the band is kind of molded in at this angle so it does have kind of that um you know shape to meet your wrist comfortably and you know what i have a pretty big wrist and i'll be honest this thing isn't the most comfortable it's a little weird because the the rubber is kind of hard so it doesn't really I feel like I'm really get, working hard to get it to bend. I'm actually having a little trouble getting the thing off. There we, there we go. Because um, I just wanted to loosen it up a little bit. And so, fits better there. Um, but I, it's a little weird because, you know, there's so much space on the the sides that's open. It doesn't feel like it was very well thought out, to be really honest. I mean, you can see my hand behind there um, on these big open spaces. And so these lugs should be kind of angled down much more abruptly earlier on. Um, so it doesn't really get a good fit, even though it's not a bad fit and it's obviously not moving around a lot, but it's just weird and kind of cheap. Okay, so I've already done that enough there. Uh, let's take a look at the case itself. Plastic, you can see the the seam there the, where they molded two pieces together and then this this yellow plastic on top and what's funny is it's kind of this yellow I, I, the yellow seems to be molded into the plastic but it's much brighter on the top than it is on the sides it's kind of like the dye didn't get all the way through the plastic and then when they cut it out it kind of the the yellow starts to fade as it goes gets to the bottom of the plastic does that make sense so there's this kind of kind of frosted white really subtle all the way around the side where it's like the dye just didn't take into the plastic completely all right beat that one but otherwise the shape and the design is okay um mode button here so there we've got time day and um uh, there's a piece of plastic on the front here get rid of that um you know it's interesting there's little seconds on the bezel uh, that's angled. There is some design on the face, kind of a chapter ring that with these little LEDs that are blinking. I'm not sure if it's just, they seem to be doing it every one second, but I'm not sure what the, they seem to be kind of randomly appearing. So I'm not sure what the deal is there. Looks like alarm, it says PM there. So that's 
uh, an indicator uh, it's giving you an indicator of um, day or evening and then or morning or evening and then there looks like that's the date there so let's go ahead and get through the next uh, mode stopwatch start stop looks like it's been running for a while no big whoop there kind of the standard stuff debris there let's see it's checking the next mode there there's alarm so you can set that and then it looks like the last mode is setting the time so kind of the standard digital chronograph uh, features and then there is a light here and it's kind of like an indiglo it's actually pretty bright that's probably the it's probably my favorite feature of this watch is given how bright it is you know I you know for that reason if I were gonna be somewhere dark I might actually wear this one if I don't really care about busting up the watch because it looks like it's pretty easy to read in the evening so uh, the hero Nero waterproof men's fashion watch it's a dirt cheap kind of get what you pay for but it works and it has badass backlighting Peter Rompanda out